Hello, everybody. We're back in, uh, took a break, celebrated the recordings, ate a little bit of goldfish, chugged 14 gallons of water, and I am back burping up storm. Just kidding. Back to Helios 1, though, seriously. So, at Helios 1, we're going to do another thing for Eddie. So, Eddie, there's a lot of characters in the game, and anybody who references the words Enclave, Navarro, random stuff that has anything that has to do with Enclave, or just sometimes technology, will trigger a cutscene for Eddie. And now, you have to wait a few in-game days. I believe it's two or five. I don't even know. But there is a bit of a problem with that. I'm going to be tired and sleepy as hell, and I did not think about that. I have enough food and drank, though, so I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'm guessing it would be two days. I don't, I don't think they'd make you wait five endgame days. So we'll sleep for two full days. Yeah! Football! I hope mine's a football. And since we killed Jenny May, somehow everyone in Novak hated her so much that... Like, here, here's a free room. You're a boss. Yeah. This is the closest one on the second floor. Pretty sweet, if you ask me. What's in here? Oh, thank you. Thank you. This is very nice. Oh, that's so nice. You know I don't need any of that beer. Especially I don't need the beer. Beer is bad for you. Oh, good. <sighs> now I gotta wait 24 hours. One, two, three, four. I am bored. I can go sell more shit now. About the vendors. I know the vendors, every Wednesday and Sunday, they update their wares. Does that sound right? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, it's about four days. Four and three. So every Wednesday and Sunday, they update their wares. So if you just want to sell a ton of shit... You can literally just wait like 19 days in a row. H2O and FOD. We are dehydrated as balls. Uh, I'm not really going to be doing that since this is hardcore. But if you're in regular mode when there's you don't need any food or FOD or H2O or sleep or any of that shit, you can just literally wait. Pretty badass, if you ask me. <laughs> oh, I'm severely dehydrated. Let's drink our dirty water first. What did I become addicted to? What am I addicted to? What the fuck? I didn't even take any drugs. Am I really addicted to Cody tobacco? If so, that is retarded. Alright, so I'm all healed up. That was two days. Let's go. Oh, I'm no longer well rested. Well, that's just rude. Your attitude is quite rude and unappealing. And some would say quite rude and unappealing, too. Run the roof, dude. Freaking crazy, dude. Alright, back to Helios 1. So there is going to be a philanthropist in there. He's not a philanthropist. I don't even know why I said that word. I think I heard it earlier, and I was like, philanthropist. Yeah, I'm going to start using that word. It'll make me sound cool. So, but then, no, there's a really smart scientist in there with the followers of the apocalypse. And if we listen to him, we can get some followers of the apocalypse fame. Yay. First, we have to get in there, though. This is a restricted area. Lime with the NCR. Is there anything I can do to help? You're being here as a start, soldier. But if you really... There should. Thank you, Lieutenant Haggerty. And now we started. This is the Helios 1 quest, sort of similar to that uh, Repcon quest, where it's just one giant quest in one big place where you gotta walk around a lot. So let's get into it. You've reached Terry, brother. Look at you all kind of different meats, cheeses, eggs, provolone. If you don't get that reference and you don't watch Workaholics, yeah. So first off, she wants us to just basically get the plant running, which is this whole thing. So you have to walk around here. That's like a very specific way you have to walk. You have to come through here, then come through here. This is the way to get to the lab. 
it'll take you like nine days just to do this if this is your first try and then not up there although I think we want to go up there because there's a skill magazine she well, we want to go through there and talk to a guy named Fanatic and then Ignacio Rivas Fanatic is some crazy retard who we'll learn about in a bit and Ignacio is the followers guy Really? Really nothing? I could have swore it was. Well, now I feel like an idiot. Making me come up here for nothing. Nothing. Why did they do that? Now. Oh, good. I've actually fell in Fallout 3 and got stuck in like a gate like that. And I had to load my save. I was pissed. I was like, the fuck? Some fucking get freaking stuck. Freaking. Frick, freaking frick, fanatic frick. Our fantastic. Who the hell are you? They bring you in. Settle down. I'm not here to replace you. That's right. I'm here for your job. Ah, sh. Pay me a stack of caps right now, and I'll forget you have my job. Aw, man. Yeah, hustling. Straight hustling. You know what charge. it is. This whole operation depends on me. No fantastic. No power. Got the whole NCR suckling my teeth. And it feels so suckling good. my teeth. What are you trying to accomplish? Well, see, we're... But the mirror's outside. Trouble is... Okay. Yeah, so I was making sure he gave me that. Now we need to talk to Ignacio. It's unusual to see a new... My interest in this place is scientific. Then we have that in common. Home. This is my turf. For all I know, you could have me killed for my allegiance. Very well. Yeah. If you're not familiar, we seek peace and the spread of knowledge. Knowledge that must never. That's reassuring. Then I would say do it. As if you're the one to restore output, then you. Can I can't get you. I've Where should I read the power? Oh, the NCR has their own design. The need for power is great everywhere. I'm a man of letters, but eventually the NCR I'm a man will of letters. Because I don't entirely. And I a cohort. You think yes. Archimedes is a weapon? A weapon. It's the Brotherhood of Steel knew about Archimedes. They weren't here for me to ask. When the NCR first came here. It was under Brotherhood control. They usually steer... The Brotherhood's interest in pre-war technology has always been in weapon. The NCR doesn't know what's a weapon. Not yet. By some miracle, they've hired an imbecile to try and decipher the systems here. He spent months working at what he doesn't know. It... I tried to tell him, but he insisted that the largest con... You gonna do it? You douche. Maybe it's a thing we have to say later to him. What can I help you with? I think we exhausted all the options. All right, but he gave us the western, and the other one gave us the eastern. If you don't talk to both of them and get the reflector panel codes, then you'd have to like hack the computer. And it's like seventy-five science, and it's like, man, I don't want me to hack that shit, man. Like I don't want to be able to hack that, man. It's like seventy-five science, though. Yeah, that's what everyone says. So they're literally in shacks like this, just a computer, just a computer, not connected to anything, no cords, no nothing, in the middle of a shack. And there's three dogs in this one, and they're in, even though they're like NCR dogs, they're always hostile from every game I play. So I don't know if that's a glitch that was intentional, but there's a shit ton of traps. I gotta get these. trying to disarm them, but that worked well. And literally all you have to do is do reset mainframe connection. Now we have one more to go. Ho ho ho, I like walking across these solar panels. So this is just a giant solar panel plant, which is badass if you ask me. Badass. Badass if you ask me. I mean, look at it. But you can see they're kind of tilted to the wrong angle to get the full effect from the sun. So we have to retarget them. 